to pay your final respects and reveal the sole heir to the inheritance of Frederick Earl Anderson Rochester. My client anticipated an untimely demise and prepared an audio recording to be played once the four of you were gathered. Let's listen to his last words. Hello. If you are listening to this recording, it means that I am dead. My representation has gathered that you are about to hear which of you will receive all my fortune. Oh, stop crying! Let you overact in life as well. As I was saying, before my 
immense wealth and power is awarded. There is one small matter which we must resolve. One of you four, sitting here tonight, murdered me. So, we are going to play a game. Oh, I like games! Tonight, we will reveal my killer. Each of you will plead your case, and then this assembled jury will decide who killed me. Was it Lilith? Manson? Oh, my brother, but... Oh! <laughs> you are the assembled jury! You hold the fate of one of these people in your hands. Are you ready to play? Yeah. Are you ready to play? Yeah. Then let's begin. As Kipling says, the female of the species is more deadly than the male. So let's start with you, Mrs. Rochester. You requested to have this funeral at night. I'm not a morning person. You were married to my client for... 13 years. Now, Frederick Earl Anderson Rochester. <laughs> wasn't your only husband, was he? No. You were married before. Repeatedly. How many husbands have you had? Mine or other women's. And what happened to your last? Busted. He disappeared! He disappeared! It was his job. He was an illusionist. Oh, but he never reappeared. He wasn't very good at his job. And the others? What happened to them? Alright, you know what? All men are alike. Stupid! You know how you save a man from drowning? You take your boots off the back of his neck. Yes, a strong 
morning, but so do the rest of you. Let's move on, shall we? Now the son, Manson. You were my client's only child. You tried to start your own band called Me. <laughs> Where my meat love is at? <laughs> and when that went done, you developed an interesting relationship with your stepmother. He loves me. I love her. <laughs> but how did your father feel about that? <laughs> you know, when I was three years old, my father said to me, get out. Uh, before that, he said, Manson, don't trust women. They'll only rub out your heart with a spoon, and then throw it on the floor, and then stomp on one of their hundreds of pairs of uncomfortable shoes, and then stick it in a blender, and then suck it up through a straw like one great big sick sexual smoothie. Oh, stop! You're sniveling! <laughs> Straighten up and sit down! So tell me what you do! Yes! <laughs> Oh, 
pretty. Oh, thank you. Kind of. Kind of. He was everything to me. He was backing my upcoming album and a tour. But, but then he changed. I was still locked in my contract. I was caught in a trap. And I couldn't get out. Child of mine. <laughs> Do you love me forever? Do you 
the assembled jewelry. It's time for you to decide who killed Frederick Earl Anderson Rochester. <laughs> you have heard their case. And they have sung, they have sung their motives. Was it Lilith, the not so loving wife of Frederick with a long line of failed Marriages before her. Yep. Manson, the only child sensitive and berated by his overpowering stepmother, whom he may have been in love with. Yeah. We see his dark side. Baby, oh, yeah. the opportunist with a heart of ice. Like the great Gamora, all she needs is a bigger fish to suck upon. Our Uncle Buzz. <laughs> <coughs> My client's older brother and ex-business partner. He had everything to gain from his brother's demise. So I ask you, this is where the game gets good. By your applause, you, the assembled jury, will decide who, in fact, murdered Frederick Earl Anderson Rochester. So I'll ask you one more time, for the last time, was it Lilith? Lansing! <laughs> Baby! <laughs> or Uncle Fox! We are going to end the show here tonight. Thank you all so much. We will see you back. Thank you. I can see you.